Entertainment Tonight family host Kevin Frazier and Nichelle Turner celebrating the Oscars. Yeah. yeah. We love talking Oscars. And Pilar, my culinary uh, partner in crime, is actually going to give us the I love your look, Pilar. I know. Yes. I was like bringing out the shimmer today, and all of you look amazing. Everyone looks yes. amazing. The yes. audience looks incredible. We got to point that out. All right, well, let's kick things off. Since this let's is our it. annual Oscar show, this is our fourth. We'll be doing our fifth next yeah. year. Yeah. 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 So the big award of the night, we'll start with that. It's usually the final award, and it's Best Picture. So here are all the nominees to refresh your memory. All right, we have American Fiction, yes. Anatomy of a Fall, Barbie, Oppenheimer, Poor Things, The Holdovers, Killers of the Flower Moon, Maestro, Past Lives, and The Zone of Interest. Ten, <laughs> Ten of them this year. Yeah. There used yeah. to only be five, yeah. but they wanted to be more inclusive mm -hmm. towards films that weren't just dramas mm -hmm. um, and kind of embrace a little bit more of what audiences and box office um, voted for as yeah. well in our behavior. So I'm glad to see that yeah. expansion. And it worked. We see a lot of big box office hits in this, I mean, Barbie, Oppenheimer, and some smaller independent films as well. So I feel like they they, they cut a wide swath. Yeah, this right? year has definitely been more of a cross-section. I still feel like they still got a little work yeah, to do. Yeah, a little yeah. work, yes. But because, you know, there still is a little bit of that feeling towards big box office movies, but I, it's What would really you much have better. added in, Michelle, out well, of Well, this curiosity. year I think they got it right. Mm -hmm. Well, I think my only beef is, is that there's only two of the top 30 movies at the box office that are in this category, and one of them got a ride from the other. I mean, Barbie really drove Oppenheimer because they put those two together. Mm. So Barbenheimer. Was, Bar yeah, that's what that. you have to remember. And really, it was Barbie. The ladies led the way this mm. year. They really did. And so that's the, that would be my only beef, that there are, there are a lot of other movies that people paid to go see yeah. that aren't getting enough love this year. Um, do you have predictions? Uh, well, we have to talk predictions, yeah. right? Yeah. Let's talk about who we think will win and who we think we would vote for if we could, mm -hmm. so. Okay, which one do you want first? Uh, let's uh, Will win, wish would win. Okay. Okay, well, will win, Oppenheimer's uh, going yes, to win. Yes, Oppenheimer There's will no win. doubt yes. that Oppenheimer will win. I loved American Fiction. Me too. Same. Thank you. Same. That's what I would vote for. Same. That's what I would vote for. Same. And I do that wish, is so crazy. I do wish Color Purple had been nominated. Yes. Yeah. I do you know, think those I was surprised were. to not see it nominated. I was. I did huge at the box, box office. Yep. Color Purple broke records. They were number one. Um, it was a musical. It was a visual feast. It was yes. a beautiful performance, um, driven film, and you it was everything I want to say. Yell's perfect. Well, no. I Thank agree you, with you completely. <laughs> yeah. All right, what would Rossi predict? Well, uh, who would I give my Roscar to? Yeah. Um, <laughs> if I could. Well, I mean, listen, I, I agree that Oppenheimer is probably going to win. It's won all the precursors, right? It really dominated the box office. Um, I loved American Fiction. I mean, Barbie was also the movie of the year. I feel like if the public could vote. And then there are films like uh, Anatomy of a Fall, which is a foreign film that is incredible. so great. Yeah. You know, and if people get a chance to see that, that could do well. Zone of Interest, Steven Spielberg was said was the best movie about the Holocaust since Schindler's List that he made, yes. you know? So there are, there could be a surprise, but Oppenheimer probably will take it. Well, I think that's four predictions yes. from Rossi, maybe yeah. five. Yeah. Um, okay, we're gonna go to Pilar Valdez, who has a couple of dishes inspired by the viral Barbenheimer phenomenon from the summer, which was started Fun fact, by none other than Tom Cruise, he had the picture of him holding the two tickets, yes. saying, you know, don't pick one or the other, go to both, hence Barbenheimer. Mm. So Pilar, what are we snacking on tonight? Okay, so up first, we've got shrimp on Barbie. So we've got these beautiful <laughs> barbecued shrimp that go perfectly with a Barbie pink dipping sauce. So it's a yogurt sauce that basically has a little bit of beet in it and it gives it that vibrant pink color. Shrimp on Barbie. And then up next, we've got these really tasty, super cute treats. Um, I'm calling them an Oppenburger. 
<laughs> they are open-faced mini burgers um, in tribute to Oppenheimer. And basically, we heard that Oppenheimer liked his martinis with a little bit of a honey and lime rim. So we did a honey butter lime sauce on those tater tots. And then you top them with a pickle, a little bit of a beef burger, and a dip of that ketchup and you've got these beautiful little tasty treats. Oh my God. Wow. And yes, we have audience members who are actually gonna try them right now. Maisha and Noboa have been tasting your delicious dishes. Again, what do you all think? Hopefully. How delish are they? I love that you're eating with a glove. That's yes. how we should do it. Mm, so fancy. Mm. We have to sit here and watch them eat. I know. Oh, this is how we Ooh, feel. Ross so and I good. feel so bad it's, we cook in the kitchen good. all the time and we just Very share good. all the food. Very how is barbie it, ladies? Delicious. I love it. I, love I could it. eat this all day, but I'll, I'll keep it pretty. And it's nice because it's a fun play on a shrimp cocktail. You can actually serve that chilled. You can make it ahead. It comes together in like 15 minutes. No problem. I love, love it that. easy. Then I can keep my gloves on. Yes, please. <laughs> easy, simple, delicious. Exactly. Love it. Exactly. Also, hello. <laughs> I feel like the bite size on that burger is the best. Mm -hmm. There's nothing more awkward than the too big of thing to eat when you're all dressed up. Nobody totally. wants that. You need a poppable. No. You need, yes, you yeah, need bites. Exactly. Those are beautiful. All right, when we come back, we're gonna reveal a timeless trend that we think will take over the red carpet and you can even replicate it at home. Okay, Ooh. I need to see this. We'll be right back. Hurry! Hurry! 